What is up guys? My name is Steven Womack and this is another Instagram tutorial. Today I want to be talking about a photographer named Bryant. Uh, you guys requested his looks a lot and I took a look at him and I was really amazed by the way he edits and the way he takes pictures and I had to follow him on Instagram right away because I fell in love with his pictures. And the picture we're going to talk about today is that Kylie Altman uh, picture look. It's a vintage picture look. I think uh, Brian takes pictures with his Fuji cam a lot lately. Um, but today I want to show you how to achieve this look using your smartphone and the free Lightroom app only. Now before we get started, let me tell you that I've created an amazing preset pack for you guys as well. It's on my website. The link is under this video. You can check it out, download it, and just slap those presets onto your pictures to make them look great. They're inspired by many of today's popular influencers as well as some vintage looks and some really grainy looks. Check it out and have fun with it. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. And check me out on Instagram, at Stephen Womack. I'd love to hear from you, love to receive feedback, get DMs, um, and I'm always up for conversation. So try me out. And uh, now let's just jump right into that tutorial. Of course, first of all, you will need your smartphone. And then I want you to open up that Lightroom app. And I've chosen this picture of a girl in LA because it's with the sky in the background and the palm trees, it comes really close to that uh, Bryant edit of Kylie Altman. And I've already done some curves, so first of all, you go to the Lights tab and hit that Curves button. And I want you to copy this curve exactly as it is here. So pull the shadows over to the right and leave the highlights where they are. And then in between, just create a little, a slight bow um, to really boost the, boost the shadows a little bit. Now once you have this curve as it is here, we're done. And we want to take a look at the contrast for this picture. We want to pull it up a little bit to around plus 13. The highlights, I want you to pull them down to around negative 19. The shadows, I want you to boost them all the way up to plus 50. Six is good. For the whites, I want you to pull them down to around negative 10. And the blacks, we want to pull down all the way to negative, negative 30 is perfect. Now we're done with the lights, we go over to the colors tab. And what we wanna do here is pull a little bit of temperature in, so we boost that to plus five. And the tint, we wanna boost that up to around plus 12 in this case. The vibrance, I want you to boost it up as well to around plus 17. Now this looks highly exaggerated, which is why now we wanna pull down the saturation to around negative 30, negative 39. And now this looks a lot better already. Now we scroll up to the color mix tab. And what you wanna do here is uh, with the reds, we wanna boost the hue to about plus 27. And the saturation, we'll leave it at zero. And uh, the luminance, we wanna boost that up to around plus 32 is perfect. So we go over to the orange tones. Uh, we wanna pull down the hue to negative five. The saturation, we wanna pull down to negative 22. And for the luminance, we wanna boost that up all the way to plus 40, 46 is perfect. Then we go over to the yellow tones. We're not gonna do anything here, so we jump right over to the green tones. And here I want you to boost the hue all the way to plus 47. The saturation, we wanna pull it down all the way to negative 65. And the luminance, we also wanna pull down to around negative 95 is good. Now we go over to the aqua tones. And here I want you to boost the hue to around plus 63. The saturation, we wanna pull that down to around negative 33. And the luminance, we wanna pull down all the way to negative 100. Now for the blue tones, what we wanna do 
is boost the hue to around plus three. The saturation, we want to pull it down all the way to negative 33, 34. And the luminance, we want to pull down all the way to negative 30, 37 is great. Now for the purple and the pink tones, we're not going to do anything. So we're done here with the colors. Now we go over to the effects tab. And here I want you to pull down the clarity to around negative 20 and dehaze to around plus 20, 21 is perfect. Now to get that vintage grain, we go down to grain and boost that to 18 right here. Um, so we're good there and we jump over to that split toning buttons. It's all the way on top of the menu and we hit that. And for the highlights, I want you to pull the hue all the way to 200 and 218 right there. It's that blue area and a saturation of around seven. So we're 220 now and saturation seven, which is good. Uh, now we go to the shadows section and pull the hue to around 75 in that orange area, yellow area, and a saturation of around 12, 11. So it's 73 and 11, which works as well. And now for the balance, I want you to boost that up towards the highlights to around plus 46 works perfect. And we're done here. This look is already really good. But now we just want to smoothen things out by hitting the details button, going down to noise reduction, and then we want to noise reduct to around 14 is good. And color noise reduction, we want to boost that to around 15. And that's it guys, this is the look. Here's a before and after. And I think we really nailed this shot, you can really see how that contrast pops in the desaturation how it looks like it's taken on a vintage camera it has that organic analog look to it but only slightly and i think we came really close to the way that brian takes his pictures i really love it try it out have fun with it let me know what you think and also don't forget that i've created an amazing preset pack for you that includes a whole lot of presets of the most popular influencers as well as good vintage and organic looks for 2020 check it out the link is under this video and also make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and check me out on instagram at Stephen womack i'm trying to post some content for you guys and it's also a good way to keep in touch with me and just ask me some questions or request new videos or you could also just comment under this video uh, let me know whatever you need. I'm always happy to reply. Thanks for watching. Peace.